And here we go. Time again to start a new live streaming for uh, the end of this week, actually, because we uh, have already uh, managed two investment challenge live streaming. And uh, so happy again, Enrico, live. Uh, it's almost five o'clock uh, Central European solar time. And we are ready to um, announce a new uh, live streaming uh, dedicated to the reply challenge today for the code one. And I'm not alone. So I kind welcome my special guest today uh, that is Mr. Gaspare Ferraro. Gaspare, can you hear me? Yes, very clearly. Hello. Hi there, welcome on board. I, I guess you. you are uh, pretty much, last time we hear about, uh, I mean, we, we, we hear ourselves, uh, we were on March 12 for the Code Challenge uh, uh, live webinar, of course, and pretty much you were on the same position, on the same sit with the same background. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> yes, I don't move from yeah. one month. <laughs> no, you, 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 you've been always there since, I mean, yeah, that, that's the yeah. point, common for everybody actually, because the quarantine emergency uh, is uh, keeping us, uh, uh, I would say, uh, freeze at home pretty much. But anyhow, we are, um, I mean, th that's even why we, we, we kindly organize this series of webinars dedicated to the reply challenges in order to uh, keep it live, even in this kind of different, I would say, setup and background. Uh, we, we try to serve a way for our community to, to get in touch and, uh, uh, and give you some kind of new contents in order to keep following the reply challenges adventures. Uh, so said, we have the investment round. We, I've spent just a, one word in saying thank you all the players because uh, yesterday night we freeze the leaderboard for the investment one and you've been updated uh, with the following news about the final round set on April the 24th. Uh, but most of all, we are today here in order to talk about the code challenge that for the one that might have not uh, uh, seen it before, we uh, have organized on March 12th um, with more than 20,000 players participating worldwide, uh, tons of countries, teams, submissions. We have so many participation. We were so glad about that. We were at the beginning of this period. So actually in the in in the beginning of this kind of strange situation we are living in but the code challenge worked so well and we were so happy about it that we have already organized a, a new live streaming with the winners you remember then gaspare we had the, the interview with the winning team what that, what were yes, your feeling think. about them so coders are pretty shy so it's difficult to speak uh, with the winners but uh, <laughs> it's interesting to see uh, their opinion yeah you you can uh, if you are interested you can uh, have a look at the interview we managed uh, past week if i'm right i think so uh with the two teams of winners the team the team winning the uh teen edition in the uh, teen edition code challenge and teen and standard edition uh called challenge both were kind in, in participating at this interview. You can have a look at their answers and, uh, and the way they interact with us. Uh, that was actually a way to give a face, I would say, to the winning teams. And uh, uh, honestly, it was an interesting interview. It, it, it's worthy if you want to, uh, to have a look at it. The, uh, the scope of today, it's quite different because we were here in order to have a webinar, again, live, uh, so uh, it's five o'clock right now on Friday at the, of, the, of the day, pretty much. We are live in order to uh, discover together how to solve the teen edition problems that so many participants have faced on March 12. And uh, there is actually nowhere in the world that could do it uh, uh, except of its creator. That it, that it, that's Gaspar uh, connecting with us. And so we will start the journey in a moment in order to uh, have a look at the Teen Edition 2020 problems uh, and, of course, uh, trying to shape together a kind of solution for all of them, uh, saying that, of course, we are connected on live on YouTube and, uh, and Facebook in order to collect your questions. So if you have experienced the uh, Teen Edition together with us, you can interact live with uh, uh, me and Gaspare in order to uh, send us your questions, your doubts, any kind uh, of uh, uh, of doubt that you may have. I'm looking at the chat right now, uh, populating on YouTube and Facebook. So uh, for the next hour, we are here solving the Teen Edition's problems, recording the video, so you will uh, be able to, to 
to see it, of course, in the next, uh, uh, in the next weeks and days available on challenges.reply.com. And uh, uh, if you have any kind of uh, uh, doubt, please share it on the live chat. I would say that I've talked enough. So, uh, Gaspare, would you like to start? We may start by seeing uh, the Code Challenge 2020 problem statement. If you have finished the slides yes. that in the backstage you tell me, me you were finishing in, in the latest minutes, right? In the last minute, yes. <laughs> okay, that's the, the best way to do it, I would say. Like always. <laughs> like always. The, the, we, we are deadline dependent. Parkinson okay. rules. <laughs> yeah, you can. Uh, uh, you might be able, I hope so, to, to share your screen, and we might have a look at the, at the problem statements. Yes, that's it. Perfect. Um, I would like. Uh, yeah, sorry. I would like to start by the the for the the, the people that might not know you, uh, Gaspare is the. Uh, I mean, it, it, this time is speaking as the creator of the teen edition problems for called the reply code challenge 2020 uh, but most of all you are part of the reply challenges team right now because uh, of your uh, trophies the the, the 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 things that you won in the past you are part of the team that uh, won in 2018 the first reply code challenge right um, yes. and actually you have participated in the reply cybersecurity challenge past year and winning it again Yes, yeah. I'm challenge dependent. Addiction. Yeah, challenge dependent. That's the, the right way to, to say it. I, I guess that in the walls behind you, you have so many trophies or somehow exposed in your yeah. home. I don't know. <laughs> more uh, or less. Yeah, more or less. But that's the, the, the good part out of it. So actually, guys, you have the chance to uh, meet and talk again with Gaspare, the, the, uh, I would say the genius in this. this for, uh, out of me and you, for sure, you are the genius. And and just the guy who is presenting and learning something. Uh, so don't waste your time. If you have questions for Gaspar, something that you want to ask him, that's the right time to do it. Uh, and uh, uh, most of all, it's the right time to start seeing the Reply Code Challenge Teen Edition problem statements that you have designed uh, on March, I mean, that you have served to the community on March 12th this year. Please, Gaspar. Okay, uh, thank you. So if you don't uh, already seen the problem statements, you can connect to the website uh, and there is the sandbox uh, already up where you can try and read the problem, uh, try it by yourself and try to score uh, the, uh, your solution. For uh, those who haven't uh, read the, the text uh, already, I, I written with a story behind. So the coders are the protagonist of the challenge in this case, in these five different problems, uh, I thought from starting from the leaderboard and to the final comp to the final uh, ranking. So in the first problem, uh, we have to analyze the, the logs of the scoreboard. In the second problem, we have to uh, rent server to run uh, the, the challenge. In the third problem, we have to assign uh, task to server. So that's it all task we need to do in order to run a code challenge like this and we want to make you part of the challenge and protagonist and uh, we will ask you to solve problems that we need to face every day to run contests like this yo that that's very good i mean so uh in, in, to recap the, the five problems are somehow linked by a kind of storytelling right yes yes that, that is more, i would say uh, yes we are problem statement more uh, more long than uh, these uh, two lines, but uh, there is a story behind where uh, the code master uh, asks you to solve very real problems uh, with a lot of uh, description and pictures. Okay, w w would it be wise to uh, recap for the ones that have not any kind of experience in this? How how does the challenge works in general? I mean, we have four hours in teams, of course, uh, divided in different teams. We have four hours to solve to propose our solution to those five problems right yes uh, each team can be composed by two and uh, four people each team have uh, must to solve five different problems in the four hours of the challenge and uh, each problem is uh, divided in five different inputs from the easiest to the uh, to the hardest because uh, a single problem can be solved in many different ways and we want to uh, make difference from a good solution from the best solution. 
Okay, okay, so, that's that's good to know. The, the, is there any particular? Or I, do we have to follow the order or not? Yes, uh, each problem is independent, so you don't need to solve uh, before the first and the second, but it's it are connected only uh, from the uh, from the story. Okay, okay, so that's the, okay, that's you the, can uh, solve uh, even from the fifth to the first one. Yeah, but actually they are in a way uh, on an increasing level of difficulty, right? Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, all right, so we, we, we can move on, I would say. Okay, we can start from the first problem, so the scoreboard. Uh, in this problem, it's very simple. We will ask you to compute the, the scoreboard like uh, in the competition. We will give you the logs of the action of the competitors, compute the scores, uh, uh, of each team and find the scoreboard from the best to the worst. In this case, uh, we have a set of logs, uh, which is um, the action of the competitors. In each log, we have many information available, like for example, the time when the, uh, the coders submit a solution, the number of the team, add identifier of the problem and the input, and uh, a flag which is scored, which indicates if the solution is correct or not. Okay, to be clear so far. <laughs> we can do before uh, starting to solve an example. We have uh, uh, five different teams and five different logs. In this case, we have uh, two non scored logs, the one with the strike proof, and three scored logs. We have, for example, uh, in the second uh, minutes, timestamp two, team ID one. This line means that the first team score in the first problem and in the first input. This means that the team one are awarded with 100 points. Because if you don't have already seen the, um, the challenge, the first input uh, scores 100 points, the second input 200, until the fifth pro input where uh, it's, the, uh, it's mean uh, 500 points. Okay, okay, so th th that's the, the, the kind of sample that the players have seen uh, before playing yes. in, in order to help them. This is the, the same in the problem statement. All right. If you evaluate these logs in uh, the same way we do in the scoreboard, you come up with uh, the scoreboard in the right part of the slides. We have uh, the five teams, uh, only three of them have score points. We, uh, pri we, um, we are press the, the one with the higher number of points, of course. And we have uh, this, uh, this time, which is called penalty time. So uh, the more you need to solve a problem, the more use penalty time. And uh, uh, if we have uh, ties between uh, teams uh, well, with the same number of points, uh, we will uh, take the first, the, the one with the less penalty time. So the faster, the better. So, of for course. example, the team one and two, they share the same number of points, 100, but team one scores uh, in two minutes, and the team number two scores in four minutes. So we preserve the first team and then the second team. Okay. So we can discuss the solution. This is a very simple problem. It's, it's, it's only a simulation of uh, what we told you in the problem statement. We can read the input data, analyze logs uh, one by one, each of them. We evaluate each score and penalty time for each time for each team. So we know, for example, team uh, number four scored 200 points uh, and two penalty time. After we evaluate all the logs, we can sort them by score and penalty time and return the final scoreboard, only the identifiers. Uh, we can pass directly to the code. Yep, so yeah, I think so. That, uh, in the meanwhile, people are following us live on Facebook and YouTube in order to, uh, I mean, sh share their questions and doubt if they have uh, uh, some. I see that, uh, okay, right now you're passing to the code part with the, with the text of the problem on site. I, I see it. Pretty well, and yes. I guess it's a good way to move. Um, we we might say that right now, of course, you are solving the problem only uh, uh, by your side. I would say it, it, it's not that easy to me to understand how to do it in teams. 
actually, because it might be uh, we, we see by interviewing the team, the winning team, that actually they have just split each each member of the team on one problem in order to solve all of them in the fastest. I mean, yeah, you know, in a fast time. Um, anyhow, yeah, okay, that, that's just my contribution. Let's move to the code part yeah. in order to proceed. So there are, can be different approach to solve them in teams. So for example, uh, we can have uh, two people on the same problem or two people in two separate problems. So it's more difficult to solve a single problem uh, together, but uh, maybe for the standard edition, it's uh, the best solution. So in this case, uh, I am only me. So I try to, to solve the problem only by myself. Yo, of course. Yeah, I cannot help you. That's the point. <laughs> <laughs> Only with the webinar. Yeah, Thank somehow. You. Yeah, that's my problem. So uh, the problem statements are uh, longer than the slide, but because we uh, we do all the assumption or the constraints, uh, we describe uh, all the input data, all the output data, and we make an example and we describe the, the scoring. So there are a lot of useful information to solve uh, the um, the problem each problem is uh, composed by a set of different uh, test cases so in this example we have only one but we can uh, uh, we have we must uh, we, we can solve uh, different problems uh, in the same solution so for example in the input number five four we are asked to solve 15 different problems of the, of the same kind so the first uh, uh, things to do is to uh, read each test case one by one. So I made a function called solves and I print uh, case number one solution is, case number two solution is, and so on. That makes and sense. I can... <laughs> Thank you. I can write, uh, write the solution uh, only to one test case and then uh, the four do all the, all the things. So uh, more or less the the template is uh, always the same with the input data, uh, elaborate uh, the solution and write the solution. So this is the free main part of the of, uh, um, of software. In this case, uh, we need to read uh, uh, the number of team and the number of logs. So, so I write- I see, I see you are so kind in commenting your code. That's a good part. <laughs> Yes, I, I I'm not sure you will do it in, in in a real in a real challenge, but that's that's no. helpful for this perspective for sure. So as first um, first step, read the input data. Okay. Okay, I guess it's, it's quite, uh, it's quite uh, easy to understand for the people watching the, lev the webinar. In the meanwhile, you're completing your code. I want to uh, yeah, say again that we are live. It's 5, 15 minutes right now uh, with the uh, code ch reply, code challenge, teen edition problem statements creator, Mr. Gaspare Ferraro, who is actually solving together with us the, the problems that he has designed in order to give you uh, an idea of what you may have done during the challenge on March 12 uh, in, uh, in, in, in solving one by one the five problem statements that we have proposed to the, uh, to the team participating to the challenge. I see you move to the second section, the, the, the solution yeah. elaboration. So in this case, I need to uh, memorize three different kinds of uh, information. So I need to memorize if uh, uh, a solution has been solved, if uh, uh, the total penalty time for each time, for each team, and the total score for each team. So I need uh, three different array score for each team. So at the beginning, uh, each uh, array is equal to zero. So everyone starts from zero points, zero penalty time, and no input scored. So this is uh, okay. 
Yeah. It's a kind of seeing a, 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 a Michelin stars awarded chef cooking something in the meanwhile he's doing it. I, 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 I guess. <laughs> <laughs> so this line is, means that, uh, for example, uh, team, num team number uh, 23 uh, has done the first input and the first problem. So I keep track of which team solves which problem and which input file. In this case, I keep track of the penalty and keep track of the score. Yeah, and analyze okay. uh, each log uh, separately. So for each log, each log is formed by timestamp, team identifier, problem identifier, uh, input identifier, and valid. So the first thing to do is uh, if the logs are not valid, if not valid, continue. So I don't uh, uh, keep uh, in consideration of the logs of invalid solution, not valid, then skip. So that's the, slide, um, I, yes. Yeah, sorry. For the, the, um, you mentioned before that there are, of course, many ways in order to solve those kind of problems. You are uh, right now trying to, to, to I mean, to, to explicit the, the most common one. Yes, this is the most common one. Okay, so is it the ones the, that the, the, the winning team has used? Uh, yes, more or less, yes. Okay, yeah, of course. So it, for this logic. kind of problem, for the easiest problem, there are not so many solutions because we have to do uh, the things written in the problems, but for the uh, second and third uh, uh, problems, there are many different solutions, uh, and I will see you uh, two of these solutions differently. Okay, okay. That's good to know. Please, go on. So one thing to, to watch out is the, to pay attention to zero, one base index. So it means that uh, we will consider uh, teams uh, uh, on one base. So it means teams number one, teams number two. But in the computer, when we write software, we, uh, we have to index the array starting by zero. So programmers starting counting by zero. That's something so quite known in the community. So what we can do is uh, decrease by one the team identifier, the problem identifier, and the input identifier. So this with this line, I um, transform one base to zero base index. Then I check if this solution is already scored. So it means uh, if the team identifier have solved the problem identifier and the input identifier, um, continue. So this means uh, already scored pass. So a team can uh, take points only one time for different problems and input identifiers. Yes, yes, of course. Once you unlock a problem, it means it locks forever. Then we add to penalty time. To we are we, we already have people trying to bug fixing, Gaspare. Uh, our friend <laughs> Nabilot says that online online 30 and 31, uh, I think he meant to write minus equal. May yes, thank you. <laughs> yeah, that's thank you very much, my friend, to, to have highlighted that might be an, an error. And I am saying to, I'm answering to another qu question. I mean, yes, uh, our friend Saket asking, what's the name of this coding site? It's not actually a site, it's Gaspar uh, live, in co code, <laughs> live coding on his own uh, PC. Uh, but actually, we are referring to the coded challenge uh, teen edition uh, hosted on March 12. All materials are available on challenges.reply.com. And so if you want to learn more about the challenge in general, you can have a look at, the, at our portal and website in order to discover a whole world of coding challenges and even not only on coding. So uh, that's the opportunity for you. I see you spending so much time in commenting the code, Gaspare. So thank you very much yes, for your effort on this. Can be difficult to understand coding while writing. <laughs> so. Yes, yes, of course. 
the um so again welcome on board for the ones that, who are joining us right now live on youtube and facebook and on challenges.reply.com uh, of course uh, uh, again uh, hi to the ones that might be seeing us uh, la uh, later in on time in in order to i mean since we are recording this video it might be interesting for the others to discover how to solve the teen edition problems and gaspar is live coding right now the solution of the problems uh, uh, designed by himself and uh, i see you are reaching pretty much the end of the uh, of that section i mean the the um, four cycle yes. has been completed uh, so after I evaluate all the logs line, I uh, evaluate the ranking and sort by um, a decreasing score, increasing penalty time, and increasing uh, identifier. So, sort the ranking. So we have to pay attention uh, to uh, sort in the correct way the ranking, otherwise we award uh, the wrong team. So this is a critical part of the challenge. That's the yes, of course. I mean the um, uh, the the. It might be wise to uh, to to say something about uh, the, the the way the challenge works. I mean, you can submit your solution in a defined timing, right? Yes, you can uh, uh, submit solution uh, anytime you want. Uh, the sooner, the better. And uh, when you complete it, uh, you will award it with the point. Uh, of the corresponding input and problem and uh, with uh, the penalty time you need to solve that problem. All right, our friend Andrea is asking something related to line number 30 again, that is minus equal minus one is equal to plus equal one. Uh, this, no, maybe we can test it. Okay. Allora, scroll. Ah, bug. Bug somewhere. <laughs> you see that even the genius might incur in some kind of bugs. That's for your uh, self-estimation, people watching. Don't be shy. It's learn by, uh, learn by failing stuff. Yes. It's difficult to write code without uh, search on the uh, internet and without and speaking uh, while. That's that's a point. Yeah, I'm sorry about it. I, I I'm trying to say something in the middle while you are writing, but that's not super easy to <laughs> to fill the void. Anyhow, we okay. are more than happy to see that people are participating in our live coding session. We have. Uh, uh, collecting comments on YouTube and Facebook. If you have questions for Gaspare, who is live coding the solutions to the uh, reply code challenge teen edition problem statements, please feel free to interact with us. We are here uh, for this perspective till six o'clock. So in the next uh, 35 minutes, uh, and then we will be back, of course, in other episodes. So this is more or less the first solution. So for example, if, if you write the input data of the example. Okay, you're entering the, the, the data right now, right? Yes. So my, aim, my output is the same of the, uh, of the problem statement. So maybe it could be correct. And after that, I can submit this solution to the, the, uh, to the sandbox and see if it, it's uh, correct uh, for the server. Okay, so okay. This is the solution of the first problem. If I haven't, uh, if I'm a team, a team participating and I haven't, uh, I, I, I'm not able to submit my solution within the time that you gave me, I have to regenerate another input source code, right? Yes, we have a limited amount of time. So for example, four minutes to download the input, evaluate the solution and uh, upload the, the output file. So. If I don't have any uh, more time, we I can retry to the load the input and uh, and the submission to the submit the solution. If the solution okay. is correct, I I award the point. Okay, that's good to know. Um, all right, so that's that was the first uh, problem statement solution, right? I mean, we we, we finished for this first section. Yes. 
uh, so before pass the second problem. Oh, no, okay. wait, my turn right now to do something. I will share my screen because uh, we want to leverage on your presence uh, of our, uh, I mean, yeah, on, on, on a, I have to ask you to stop sharing yours. I'm sorry, Gaspar, for this interruption. Yeah. But we want to leverage on your presence as, uh, um, uh, as I mean, uh, a problem statement creators. I can just ask you if you can stop sharing, uh, Gaspar. Okay. Stop, stop sharing your screen. Okay, thank you very much. And I'm about to share my own in order to preview you a kind of very common problems that are right now popular on social media. And we want to, uh, to challenge you uh, to solve it in order to get, I mean, some attention on a, a probably an easier problem, but something that might be uh, popular right now on the web. So um, do you have a solution for this problem? I'm just sharing... A, it's an okay. image that is mostly uh, quite known around the web. So I can write a solution for my reply. That's code great. On our reply code <laughs> challenge notebook, that's a very interesting. So uh, from the first, from the third line, we can see that an X on the press cell means the same, uh, uh, the same number. That's the point. So from the first line, we can see that uh, an X times pretzel means sixty-four. So it means that an X and pretzel are uh, equals to eight. That's a point, okay. Then cookie plus next 21. It means so, cookie plus eight uh, 21. So cookie is 25, 21 minus uh, eight. So it's yeah. 13. 13, okay. So cookie is 13. And popcorn. Popcorn, uh, the, um, the fourth line, cookies minus popcorn equal to eight. So 13 minus uh, popcorn is equal to eight uh, and maybe popcorn is equal to five. I think so. So snack and pretzel equals to eight, uh, cookie equals to 13 and uh, popcorn equals to five. Okay, that's the <laughs> point. So actually the, the last line is uh, double snack uh, per uh, popcorns is? Uh, what means double snack? <laughs> Hi, that, that's the point. I don't know. Two times that's next. The the, okay. So squared, maybe, uh, I would say squared. The, the... Two times next can be 16 times popcorn. Popcorn is uh, five. So five, right? Six, so 16 per yes. five. 80. 80. That was the solution. Very good, Gaspar. Yeah. We are more than happy to have solved this. So in general, I would say if you see those kind of uh, uh, quizzes on the social media in general, proceed carefully, step by step, you'll be able to solve it, right? That's not the level, the level of difficulties of the, of the reply code challenge, but in general, my help. Okay, sorry for wasting your time in this, but might be back with other and more complicated quizzes for you, Gaspar, all right? Thank you. Okay, I'm stop sharing my screen. You might be back in solving something different. It is uh, uh, the problem number two. We were so perfect okay. that at the half of our time, 30 minutes last past five o'clock, we were uh, watching the second problem statement of the Reply Code Challenge, the edition. So in the second problem, we asked to the coders to uh, rent the server from the cloud to run the Reply Code Challenge. So uh, in this case, we have uh, a set of different servers. We, we have to decide which are the best servers to rent. And uh, we have, of course, minimized waste because we are eco-friendly. So we don't to want to buy server, but are, are not useful for the competition. So in this case, we have uh, a lot of restriction of the problem. We have uh, n different server all in a row. So each, our compute, each server is uh, in the same row. We need uh, a little of p computing power, which is, um, means, I don't know, uh, gigahertz uh, or I don't know power or RAM I don't it's not interesting for the problem so we need uh, yeah. uh, an amount of units of something P uh, but we can rent server only adjacent so we can uh, take only a subsequence of the sequence of the server only a partial contiguous uh, uh, portion of the of the servers of course uh, the sum of the server we rent 
have to be at least p because we need uh, that uh, number of computing power to run uh, the challenge but we also want to minimize the waste of computing power and can be uh, we, we can have uh, different ties so for example uh, different subsequences with the same uh, uh, sum. In this case, we want the nearest subsequence to zero. And maybe we can do an example to better understand because uh, it's hard to explain without an, exp without an example. Yeah. So yeah, for example, okay. we have uh, 10 different server and we need 23 compute day powers. In the, in the cloud, we have uh, these servers from one to 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Uh, it means that the first server uh, uh, provides one unit of power, the second two unit powers, and so on. And we have uh, many different possible solutions. So, for example, the first uh, is not a solution because uh, the sum of 3, 4, 5, and 6 is 18, and it's less than 23, so it's okay. a viable solution. Okay. But the second, the, four, the third, and the fourth are valid because uh, each of them uh, are greater than 23. So, for example, the second is 8 plus 9 plus 10, which is 27. But we can do the we can we can do best because the third example uh, we can take 7, 8, 9, which sum 24. But we can reach uh, 23 correctly. So there is no way to obtain 23 from uh, uh, these uh, servers. And for, these, uh, the for the first solution is the best one. So 24 is the best we can do. We can't do 23. So we have only a west of one unit power. In this case, this is the solution. Yes, that's quite clear to me. Uh, I don't know if it's more difficult than the previous one, but I trust you that it is a, a bit more difficult. Yes, it's easy to score something. It's difficult to score a lot, all the points. That's the, yeah, yeah. That's so the for uh, this problem, I will show you three different solutions by increasing Ooh. difficulties and the difficulty uh, of efficiency. So we'll start with the simple solution, which is maybe the, the easiest one, but of course the, the worst in, in matter of time. So the first solution is try all possible subsequence, very easy. Analyze all starting point, ending point. We take every possible subsequence we have, compute the, the sum of the subsequence, and take the best one. So, for example, we can take 1, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 5, 1, 2, 6, then 2, 2, 2, 3, 2, 2, 4, and so on. All the possible subsequence and take the best one. Okay. So yeah. this, this solution is very easy to write. So as before, first thing to do is read input data, then evaluate solution, then print solution. So as first things, this is the problem statement. As before, we have to read the input data in the same way. In the first line, we have the number of server and then the computing power needed for run the challenges. We are back coding, guys. Are you ready? Yes. Follow the, follow the lines. So I'll try to not write code uh, bugged. <laughs> you see, you see, we have many people checking actually, so it's even yes. maybe better than usual. It's like an, uh, an exam of university. Yeah, yeah. Why not? Why not? Take it th this way. The uh, I'm assuming you always using Python as a as a code, right? As a programming language. Well, uh, it depends of the problems. Okay. So from for the easiest problems, is uh, better to write in Python because it's the fastest, fastest. Uh, but for uh, difficult problem, I prefer to write code in C++ because it allows a lot of uh, utilities, library, and uh, it's more useful. Yeah, for, yeah. Uh, that, that's something that even the, the winning teams we interviewed past week were highlighting that uh, somehow C++ is better for some kind of uh, methodology. And I would say the, 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 the way you develop your code. 
the um okay please go on okay so this is the solution so uh, i keep track of the best solution so far i reached so i start from an empty solution Okay. And each time I, I see a best solution, I uh, update the previous best solution. And at the end, I have the global best solution of the problem, which is the solution of the problem. So the okay. current sum starts from zero. And then at each step, I add p of i to the current solution and um, it in, uh, in the end if the current solution is uh, current sum is greater than p and uh, lower than the previous best solution c i update the solution with this solution okay Okay. So at the end, I kindly invite again the viewer to to propose their questions and comments on uh, YouTube or Facebook chat in order to uh, highlight bugs if they see some. <laughs> but yeah. in general, to comment if you have uh, any uh, possible different solution to propose uh, or something that in the meanwhile you were playing at the teen edition called reply code challenge 2020 you may have experienced so i'll test my solution to see if any bugs are present okay <laughs> So a things we can do is to print uh, the solution, to print the variables to see if we have uh, a valid uh, data or we have um, so the bags in, uh, in the code. So we can do all in the blind mode. So we have to print something in order to keep track of the values and to see if they are correct. Yeah, of course. So for example, here. So, Okay, I'll try with the solution in the problem statement. Okay, I have a bug here somewhere. Do you see it? Okay, this can be okay. Eduardo is writing us that on line 25, line you already seen it. Yes, thank you. Okay, thank you very much, Eduardo, for seeing the mistake there. I know Eduardo. You know him? Okay, great to know. So, <laughs> a friend helping. okay so this time is correct we're working well we yes. have six to eight which is the solution written here yeah okay but what we can see i i have some input uh, example in my folder already prepared already prepared for like, the like, like the chefs you know once in a cooking show you have already prepared something yes. in the oven you know, <laughs> just to take it out <laughs> so i take uh, from the, my secret folder the input files uh, you can download from the um, from the sandbox yes of course and what you can see is that for uh, if i evaluate the time needed to complete the solution so for example 
for the third input, it, it, uh, it required a lot of time. So for example, you can see how slow this solution is. So this solution works only for the first and the second input, but not for the third, fourth and fifth solution. Okay, okay. So, because this is a complex, complexity of uh, n to the third power, to the one who know a lot of, uh, who know a little bit of uh, theoretical computer science. This means the number of steps the, the solution are to do in order to solve the problem. A smarter solution based on the first one is to uh, compute a prefix sum of the array. So uh, I'll do um, a lot of things before analyze the problem and uh, um, speed up the sum of the subsequence later. So we do a little bit of improvement to speed up the solution. So what we can do is, uh, for example, I take this solution, I comment it. So I don't delete it because it's important to keep track of the, the previous code. That, that's something they, they, you, you always have to keep in mind that not yes. <laughs> better to know how to comment and not delete. Delete code, don't, don't delete code, keep it, 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 uh, it can be useful yeah. uh, later. As always, as important as read the manuals. Yes. This is a, a trick for the one who know uh, how to code and have uh, done a lot of competitive gaming challenges. Okay, can, can you explain it a bit more? So this is called prefix sum. is uh, simply an array where uh, uh, the value at index i is the sum of uh, v from zero to i. Okay, that, wh why did you say that it's so, I mean, a, a kind of trick, a magic trick in the competitions? What, what is important in competitions? In so this is a simple data struct that we can use to simplify a lot of tasks. Okay. So it's like a, a solution we can use to speed up uh, um, simple tasks that we can use in, diff in complex uh, solutions. Name of it is prefix sum. We see people if they are uh, aware of the prefix sum trick. Please raise your hand on the chat if you know what we are talking about. So, with this uh, array, I can delete this code. And what you can do is modify only these two lines. Okay. Hello, Federico. So this is the same solution with uh, this fix. Okay. We can see. Is it still correct? Maybe, I hope yes. We were solving the second problem statement of the Reply Code Challenge 2020 Teen Edition, thanks to the presence of its home creator, that is Mr. Gaspare Ferraro, live coding right now with us, uh, live on uh, challenges.reply.com, Facebook and YouTube too. Uh, seeing if uh, uh, he's able to solve his own problem, something that is, I guess, quite... <laughs> easy to understand, but in general, to do it in a live mode, it's always interesting. Thank you very much to all the people watching to point out uh, uh, any kind of doubt or uh, question you may have. We were actually in, I mean, uh, updating the solution we have already prepared for problem number two. 
in order to let it perform better. The, 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 I, I would say it like this. Yes. Are you now testing it for a new input, right? Yes, I'm testing it. Okay. Working as expected. Uh -uh. So I need to debug one thing. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if the, the community is seeing the bug before you. Okay, so it's good to have uh, some interaction with the viewers. <laughs> I think so. I think so. That's a good part of the live coding session. Uh, right now, they are not raising hands in saying anything. Uh, Okay, so this is a prefix sum where uh, the first number is the sum of the first, the second number is the sum of the first two, the third number is the sum of the first three, and so on. Okay. So at the end, yeah, I have uh, 55, which is the sum of all the number. Linus, okay, thank you, Eduardo. <laughs> <laughs> That's a kind of good job. Okay, I'll test it again. We have received for the one watching on Facebook a suggestion via the YouTube chat with Eduardo, a friend of uh, uh, Gaspar, pointing out the, the small bug present on line 51. So as before, this is the correct solution uh, as the first one, and it is faster than the previous one because we can see that uh, it's low down a lot of in the first input, so in this time uh, it's more fast. Okay, faster. So you can see course. that faster. So with the third input is finished in less than one seconds, but it's not uh, enough because uh, for the last uh, maybe one or two uh, input, uh, you need a smarter solution. So we can see that this is uh, slower as before. So okay. it uh, okay. required uh, more or less 10 seconds only for the first uh, input and uh, it's not the correct solution. And in this case, uh, we will come up with the last correct solution, which is we will use the sliding windows technique, which is uh, another technique uh, known in uh, computer programming, uh, competitive programming uh, algorithm. Yes, yes, okay. So in this case, I. I have a box, a window where I put things and I remove things, which is called a double-ended queue. If you know the data struct, I add element to this window one at a time. I pop element when it's too big. So it's like a magic box where I add and remove elements and I use it to keep track of the current uh, subsequence uh, of the server I have to rent. So it's more easy to, to code it and to explain it. Okay, okay, so, yeah, I got it. The, 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 the thing is that the first two solutions were not wrong in general. I mean, of course, they are a, a kind of solution. They are not giving you the most of the points, right? Yes. Okay. With the first solution, you score uh, uh, the first two inputs, maybe three, maybe two, okay? With the second solution, you score uh, three different uh, input, but not maybe the fourth one. Okay. Uh, so you, you need a smart solution to, um, to sc score all the, the input data. So this is the example of a simple solution, this simple problem, which has a different uh, increasing uh, uh, solution from the worst to the better, to the best. Wow. That's a good point for these kind of coding competitions that you may receive a problem statement that uh, gives you a variety of different solution proposals 
but not all of them are created equal, I would say. Right now you are seeing the third uh, uh, solution proposed by Gaspare for the second problem statement of the Reply Code Challenge 2020 Team Edition. Uh, I just kindly remind you that the winning team um, that we interviewed past week live, uh, two guys of uh, 16 years old, right? Something like this. Uh, yeah. So two, two, two kids to say, uh, were able in a team of four people to solve the wall problems, the, the, the five problems uh, statement that we give them in a kind of less than one hour, right? Yes, more or less one hour. Yeah, they of right. course worked in parallel with each of each of them working on one problem statement. But in general, it's a, a, a big a big results because you. I mean, in general, there were so many teams for even for a teen edition that were needs to be all focused on all on each problem statement step by step in order to propose a working solution and do it by themselves. Uh, we see Gaspar right now working live uh, on his uh, uh, on his PC in order to prepare the third solution proposed for this problem statement. Always commenting the code in a so kind way. I'm collecting questions and uh, uh, proposals uh, to uh, from the community watching us live on challenges.reply.com and on Facebook. We have a friend of us, Ezekiel, asking, good afternoon, happy Easter, you all. Of course, you too, Ezekiel, you and your family. I would like to know which Python's version are you using in this challenge point? Thanks and good code. So it's Python 3 standard. So it's not important because I don't use uh, complicated things. So Python 3.8, but you can solve it using Python 2. It's not, uh, it's not a problem. Not that a big problem. Okay, so no, Ezekiel... No. It's more about the skills and not that much yes. about the, 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 the tool, I would say. More about so the brain. I, yes, I, I use only for, while, if, uh, only standard things uh, that you can use in every different language. Okay, okay. Thanks, Gaspare, for answering, of course. Uh, please keep it as a routine. You can interact with us on Facebook live chat and on challenges.reply.com. Uh, I uh, remind you that, uh, I mean, yes, we are already reaching the end of our webinar. Uh, you can uh, uh, enable Facebook to notify you once we are live. The next uh, webinar we have in program is set uh, next week on Friday too, so Friday the 17th, uh, in which we may continue this live coding session about the teen edition problems because I see many people interested in it, so I would keep the attention and continue this way. You reach the end, Gaspare? Yes, this is the end. You're testing the solution? Yes. So this is the solution in the problem statement, which is correct. And now I can test it on uh, the real input from the, from the sandbox. As before, I can see that uh, it's faster than the previous one. So for the first input, uh, it requires 50 milliseconds. Again, 50 milliseconds for the second input, uh, more or less the same for the third. And the fourth input, which is the, uh, the previous uh, wall of the solution. So the previous solution didn't reach uh, at this point. With this algorithm, we only need uh, more or less 100 milliseconds. So it is more faster than the previous one. So if you remember, uh, the second solution needs uh, 10 seconds only for one case. And this solution uh, needs 100 milliseconds for all the test cases. So yeah, it's yeah, uh, yeah. more faster than the previous one. We and get the logic. The last input, it needs uh, only one second to complete the last input uh, test case. So as you can see, even a Python, which is a slow uh, programming language, you can solve the problems in less than a second. So the amount of time we give you in the, the, the challenge is only to download the input data, run on your computer, and then uh, submit the output. So, the computation part is not relevant, so it can finish in a couple of seconds.
Yes, yes, of course. Okay, that, uh, that's all I say for the second problem statement, right? We already proposed three different solutions in order to let you improve uh, your coding skills. And uh, actually, even I, I would say thank you very much, Gaspare, for evaluating, I mean, go. showing the three different increasing difficult level uh, solutions to this second problem statement. Uh, we reach pretty much the end of our time, but we have three minutes more, if you agree, to test with you another popular social media test uh, quizzes and okay. riddle you want to do it yes come on so we uh, i casually ask you to stop Spoiler. sharing my turn to do it yes of course problem number three will be live for the next round i'm sharing my screen to show you these oh. kind of uh, riddle you know it yeah is it i know the format <laughs> You know the format. Let's see if we are able to do it, okay? If we are not, that's it. We will keep the, the community to solve it in the, in the next time. Anyhow, uh, you know that, uh, I mean, those are the five hints to crack this code. We invite the community to uh, do their best to solve it as well, if they want. Uh, we are watching YouTube and Facebook uh, chat in order to get your suggestion to uh, okay you are taking so, note i guess yeah <laughs> so maybe i need more time to solve this problem than the, the reply code challenge problem <laughs> <laughs> it's harder probably we can even stop the webinar and, and doing it later but let let me do it this way how do you solve it? Okay, let's let's forget about the solution right now. What what are the yeah. steps you 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 have in your mind to do it? So I see there are any solution, any uh, statement that can help me to begin with the problem the resolution. So for example, the fourth statement, nothing is correct. You already told me that five, seven, eight are not number in the solution. So this is a precious information. That's it. Because That's it. Okay. It gives me a lot of information uh, about the other statements. Of course, of course. I would say the so fourth, example, and the fifth, probably, right? Yes. For for example, the fifth means um, the I know that fifth five is not the correct number. So okay. one number is correct, but in one place it should be or six or nine. Yeah. Yeah. I can use this information and uh, go on with the other one. Okay, do, do you want to do it or we have to stop? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe uh, later. <laughs> which, is, which is the third one that might be help, helpful? Yes. Uh, well, maybe uh, the second statement, one number is correct but wrong place. So again, it's not five. So maybe it can be two or four. And I can use this information uh, with the fir first and the third uh, statement. Uh, so, for example, I already know that uh, 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 Federico say three nine four maybe. So it's three nine four. Here. Federico trying to answer. That, that, let's let's try to do it this way. Verify Federico's answer and see if it's right or not. So one number is correct and well placed, which is nine. One number is correct but wrong place, which is uh, four. Two numbers are correct but wrong places, uh, which are uh, three and four. The four statement, nothing is correct, uh, it's correct. And the last one, we have one number incorrect, correct, but wrong place, which is uh, nine. Five and so, nine. Yes. So we, we, may, we, we may say Federico would, could be right. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that, that was just a, a kind of joke, but we would like to, to, to do it together in order to propose to the genius something different from the, the problem he had proposed. Uh, we can even keep it as a kind of routine. If you have any kind of interesting <laughs> puzzle, riddle to be proposed to Gaspare, uh, we are more than happy to receive it. Uh, we have forget about the number of triangles that you see so much on social media, so we don't, we haven't did it, uh, we haven't proposed it to you, Gaspare. But thank you very much for your time and kind collaboration in order to uh, point out the solutions to the uh, reply code challenge teen edition problem statement. Uh, we have this live coding session so interesting, pretty much the first time we have managed something like this. 
live on Facebook and on challenges.reply.com in the last hour. You can switch on uh, the notification on Facebook in order to receive an alert every time we are live. And uh, uh, next meeting will be uh, for sure on Friday, April the 17th, with the second part of the Teen Edition Problem Statement. So thank you very much, Gaspare. Happy Easter. Thank you, Rico. To all and your family. Thank you. You Stay safe and strong, of course. Uh, uh, thank you very much to the Reply Challenges team and the world community following us. Enjoy and thank you very much. Goodbye. Goodbye. Ciao. Goodbye, everybody.